Hello, today we're talking about worming livestock with uh, soap. And how this works is basically um, the idea behind this is back in the day, you know, the, the, the old time farmstead, uh, the family would, you know, take a bath, you know, uh, parents first and the kids, and then the bath water would get thrown out to the livestock, the pigs, the cows, etc. And they noticed that it was a, a wormer. It would deworm the livestock. They'd have, you know, harsh, um, dirty, matted coats. And then after they would get um, this bath water, they'd be slick and shiny and, and healthy animals again. So um, the, the premise with this is um, what we do, actually, not really the premise, what we've been doing for a little over a year now is every um, on a cycle normally uh, most of the year it's once a month but in the wet summer months where we live uh, we do it every two weeks um, just because they have a, a higher chance of you know uh, parasite load with all the rain and everything so what we do is we have a uh, we get a, li a liquid soap and we just add it to their water and I guess the the science behind it is the adult stomach parasites this won't work for like lung lung worms or heart worms if you tried it on your dogs or something but only works for stomach parasites and what they do is the adults attach the stomach lining of in the stomach and they excrete a, a greasy a shield which allows them to survive in the stomach acid because you know acid would dissolve them if, if they didn't have this this protective layer so the whole idea is this liquid soap with the surfactants in it will cut this greasy layer enough or to a degree that it kills the uh, uh, it dissolves the, the adults the breeders and they just get um, uh, dis, uh, basically uh, pooped out you know they get dissolved and digested and and you know get evacuated so it's a, a really great system uh, we've had really good success for it um, so it, it but the issue that we found was that you have to be very careful with um, the kind of soap you use. A lot of the soaps are very harsh, lots of uh, really harsh chemicals that are not good, especially if you're going to be uh, digesting them, you know. And so there's only a handful of companies with, with safe enough products that you can do this. And like I said, we've been doing this for, um, well, a little over a year now, and we haven't had any losses. Um, we've had lambs safely, so it hasn't affected um, any pregnancies. And now we have only done this with our sheep. Uh, I do have, uh, well, I guess our, our geese also stay in the pasture, so the geese have had um, uh, access to the wormer, but I haven't tried it on poultry uh, for the most part, like chickens or quail. Um, I do have plenty of those, but they have different watering systems, so... Um, I, I don't know how um, that would take, um, but like I said, the sheep have been really good with it, and they take to it very easily. They, you know, it's not an issue for them to, uh, you know, it will foam up in the in a water container. You'll see that um, coming pretty pretty shortly, and they'll drink it no problem. And it's it's a really nice system. I really like it. It's super easy, you know. Depending on, uh, we use one ounce of liquid soap per gallon. Although normally what I've done is because the containers that we use are like 16.9 ounces or something like that. I have a hundred gallon stock tank, so I just dump the whole thing in um, the the 16 ounces to 100. Normally the math would be. You know, it would be for an 80-gallon tank, but, you know, it's fine. Um, 
but if you're trying to break it down, I, I the rule of thumb kind of is uh, one ounce per um, gallon. So that way, if you're using a five gallon bucket or or something smaller, you know you can do the math that way. But yeah, so it's, like I said, it's really straightforward. It's, it's simple. I like to clean the containers out as much as good as you can. Get any algae or stuff on out of there. Um, then give the add the soap. You want them to drink it all, um, all of it up though. You want them to. You don't want to top it off. You don't want to refill it. You want them to clean, clean completely. Drink it to the bottom. Um, that way they get all of the the surfactant in them uh, in a short amount of time. You know, if it takes 24 hours, 48 hours, that's fine. But you don't want to just continually fill it up. You want it all in there at once in their system. So, like I said, it's really great. Um, you know, it's a lot easier in the past, you know, having to catch up the whole flock of sheep or the herd of goats and having to, you know, give them an oral drench or, you know, uh, a pour on or whatever it is you're using uh, has been always been a pain for us. And so this here is, you know, very non-invasive. You know, I can just, they can be wherever they're out in the pasture. I can just clean out their water container and uh, walk away. So, and, you know, I don't know if there's any, there shouldn't be any negative taste to it just because, you know, they take to it so fast. But I really, really love it. It's something I highly recommend you look into. Um, you can message me if you want for um, uh, one of you know. There's two two products I've heard of um, that that will work, and I use one of them. Uh, so message me, uh, and I can give you that information. Um, but just due to uh, I guess legalities or whatever, um, I, I don't want to be sued putting it on over, you know my channel so or have my channel closed or whatever so just message me and I can give you that information but uh, it, it's really really neat I really like it I don't think I don't see my uh, our farm changing um, anytime soon switching to anything else um, it's just so so cool and then you can just see here it's super easy you just dump it and and, and walk away and you don't even have to worry about it foaming or whatever you don't have to skim off any of the foam it'll settle out pretty quick and I've had I've seen I've had sheep that just drink it while I'm pouring you know they don't really care so unless you have something like super finicky picky uh, and, it, and the bubbles go away in like less than 15 minutes anyway so hope that helps